Okay, hello and welcome to Creating with Shannon. I am Shannon and we are going to create today. Um, I'm on TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube. Um, I have comments here, so if you have any comments, please ask, talk, say hello, tell them where you're from, uh, where you're watching from. And so today, don't mind my hands. They're a little messy. Um, we're getting ready for a grand opening of our classroom. We still haven't come up with a name. We've got some good names. Um, we just haven't got the perfect one, but we're still voting. We're still doing all that. Uh, next Thursday, next Friday, the 14th and the 15th, Saturday, we're going to be having a classroom grand opening. We're going to unveil a brand new line of paint. So I'm going to have another line of paint. I know I already got a couple, but you can never have enough. Then we're also going to do free workshop, free classroom, or free classes. But the best part is I have um, a ton of giveaways. I'm talking IOD giveaways, stamps, transfers, molds. We have a bunch of Dixie Bell. I'm going to give away some of the new paint. There's just so much stuff that I'm going to be giving away. So um, you definitely don't want to miss the grand opening. That is at the shop here in Fort Myers, Friday, 6 to 8 p.m., Next Friday, that is July 14th, and July 15th, 11 to 5. Okay, so without any further ado, hello, how are you? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to put you up there. Good afternoon. <laughs> um, so today I thought we'd have some fun. Um, I have in front of me, let me just show you this, not that, this. Let's zoom in just to scotch. This is an old antique crock. This is the original. This is old and it is cool. There's chips taken out of it, just the age. You can see it says London, 1862, right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna recreate this look because we can. So let me get this screen. I'm gonna zoom out just to scotch. Zoom out, oh, that's in. I wanna go out. And I'm going to put me back on the screen. There we go. So now you know who's speaking. <laughs> First of all, there's two different ways to get this look. I'm sure there are other different ways, but these are the ways that I'm going to talk to you about today. The first way is we're going to be using the IOD crockery stamp. And there is one that is very similar to this marmalade one. It's this one. It even has the same little leaves. Well, not the same, but very close. So they mimic each other. So that's what we're going to use on that. And then on another one, we have what is called the traditional pots. These are transfers. They come in a blue, a black, and then they come in white. So you can change depending on what your surface, what your crock surface is like. So real quick, um, oh shoot, I don't have the picture handy, but this is the crock we're going to be starting with now this one this one shoot I meant to upload the picture here but I do have it and I'll put it I'll show you what it looked like this here uh, was uh, you know like a it was this color like a white but it had these really old blue birds on it. it was just dated totally 80s and we needed to get rid of that because we want to create this we want it to be like this so we got rid of the 80s birds, bluebirds, and let me show you how I did it. We're going to just do it really quick. So I have in front of me a green one. This is a green one, obviously. And what I did was I just took some slick stick and I applied it to this. Let it dry. Very important. you got to give enough dry time. Um, generally, they requ require you, they, they suggest two coats. I do sometimes, sometimes I don't. But it's when it's on a slick surface like this, absolutely. If you're questioning you even need the slick stick, you could probably get away with one coat. But when it's really shiny like this or glass, definitely, definitely use two coats. So they tell you, put one on, let it dry, put the second coat on, then let it dry overnight. And I tell you what, it works wonders. I've done it several times. But we're not actually going to do that right now. But that's how I did this one here, right here. Just slick stick. But then, let me just put this out of the way. Um, the slick stick is white. And obviously this 
is not white. It's more cream. Hey, Brenda. Thanks for joining. Uh, this is more of a cream color. So what I did was I chose the Fusion. I think I used the, yeah, I used the raw silk. So I went ahead and gave it a coat of this just so we're ready to get creating. Now, um, let's see. I have another one here. Here it is. I grabbed another one. This one is called, um, this one's plaster. Now I chose, it's a little bit darker than the raw silk. And the reason why I want to do that real quick is because you notice on this here, there's some two tones. There's a lot going on, some dark, and you do see the lines. We're going to get those lines, but we do that after. So I'll show you that later. But so before we get started, I just want to give my 80s croc a little bit of depth with some of a deeper color just just to make it look like it's old so let me just shake this up real quick and it's it's a little bit deeper it's not that different but it'll with all the layers we're going to put on you'll definitely see a difference Gotta have those baby wipes. Always have them handy. Unscented and just the, the sensitive ones so there's no chemicals or anything really in them. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just, like this one, sporadically put just some, a deeper color. See how it gets deeper here? And no, no rhyme or reason, just kind of here or there. And I'm not gonna do too heavy. And you have to look really carefully to see the difference. Can you see that? There is a difference in shades, but not much. But just like this. It'll get darker, though, as I antique it and put more stuff on it. So this is just for now. And I'm just taking, I'm not painting it on. I'm just kind of pouncing or dabbing it on. So you can see that, and I'm going to put it, I'm going to put a little bit over on this side too. Last time I did this, I did a ceramic, a ceramic pitcher. It came out really pretty, but I regretted using, I used white when I should have used more of a cream color like I have on here now. Because most pottery, like ironstone and stuff, after it ages, it has that yellow hue to it. Okay, so there we go. So, and you could see that. You could see the difference. And this is purely just so when we're adding the layers, it'll look more um, authentic. I'm very big on layers. I should be the layer queen. I love layers. Some of the... Um, the furniture and other things that I do here at the shop, especially my doors. I have some doors have like 12 layers on them, but you know what? They look really authentic and I love them. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to focus on the front today. We're not going to flip it around. I can do that off camera on my own time. I'm just going to dry it just real quick because we're going to stamp on it. I want to make sure that the paint, the paint is dry when I do stamp it. Again, this is just one of many layers. We're gonna do as much as we can today. And then hopefully, um, I'll come back on and we'll finish up tomorrow. We'll see. And this one, this one I, uh, we're gonna work on, we're gonna put the traditional pots transfer on here. But this one was already the cool color. It's a it's a nice crock. Oops. So we don't have to adapt this one at all. We just had to make sure that it's clean. The surface is clean. All right. That's dry. Put that one to the side. All right, now comes the stamp. So I've already, um, I would look through these and I decided I was going to use this one here. This one says Josephine's Famous Marmalade 
Bruxburn, Bruxburn, how do you say it? The original and the best marmalade. I chose to do the marmalade one. Well, actually, a lot of them have marmalade, but I like it because it mimics this pattern here on this one. So that's why I chose this one. So just peeling it off. And this is a new new stamp. I haven't used this one yet. I couldn't find my other one, so I just grabbed another one. And again, if you've never used the IOD stamps, they're amazing, but you always want to give it a light sanding just to make sure that you're, it's ready to take your medium and put it on and give you a nice, even, even imprint. So what I'm doing is I'm affixing it to, I just have this piece of thin mount. Thin mounts are great. They have the grids. You can line up, you can do letters, but I have this little section. You can cut them in any size you need. This, it makes the stamp a little bit more uh, firm so you can hold it, yet it still will bend. See that? So it could still bend around this. All right. Now I'm a big proponent of the IOD ink. It's permanent. It's easy to use. And it's just simple. I love it. So and it comes in about uh, nine different colors, maybe. You just simply make sure your ink pad has enough ink and you just simply pat it on. Now comes the tricky part. <laughs> you want to make sure when you put this on that it is level straight. So I'm just going to make sure I don't have any extra paint on my fingers. And make sure it's right side up. I want to put it right in between where I just added the darker colors. And once I push it down, I commit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to roll one side, push lightly, and roll the other side. I'm going to try to make sure that I'm touching every letter, every piece where the ink touched. Because I want to get a fair fairly good imprint. It doesn't have to be perfect because it is to look like an old crock. But if I pick it up and put it back down or turn it, I could smudge it. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. Now, obviously it looks like a good imprint. It doesn't look quite old like this one, but wait, there's more. <laughs> All right. What I do, if I can't get to the sink real quick to wash my stamps, I just have my little um, baby wipe handy and I just give it a just a quick wipe just to make sure none of that ink sets in. And then I'll get it after the slide. I go to the sink and I get it cleaned off. Okay. Put that to the side. So this is going to dry really quick. And then I'm going to show you the next step. But why this is drying, we're going to go ahead and do the other one. Let me just get this stuff out of the way. These stamps, <clears throat> the crockery, if you don't have them, they're very versatile. You can use them on so many different things. Because you you're, you could use it, stamp it with paint. You can do any of the inks. They just work really well. All right, so while this is drying, we're going to get our other one out. Just put that down. If you ever have to work with something that's round, these little boxes are phenomenal because they just, whoop, you can put it right in there and it does it it does not move. All right. I want to keep this in the shot because I want people to know what we're trying to create. We'll put it like that. There we go. So now with the traditional pots, um it comes with four sheets. Now these are really cool, they're easy. Like if you don't get into stamping or stamping's too much for you, these are super, super easy. So See all these beautiful designs? These are the black ones. Then there's the <clears throat> some white ones. You can't see that on the screen, but there's white. But there's also one sheet of a navy blue, and those are phenomenal. I've already used all those, so, so I guess you can tell which ones were my favorite. Um, but we need a black one for this. So let me get my scissors. And I think I like, which one do I like? I want to use, let's do, I like actually this one because it kind of goes with our other ones with these, you know, the 
florals. So you simply just cut it out. There's a nice grid line if you need it. There you go. And then you have plenty more for plenty of other projects. They come in these little booklets, so they're really easy to take care of. <clears throat> now, the fun part. This is where we're going to apply it. So I've already made sure my surface is clean. I'm just going to give it a once over again just to make sure. So what it's going to do is going to go on like this. And I'm simply going to take, kind of line it up. Put it on. Then what I always do is I just kind of give it a nice rub. And then I take the little tool, the transfer tool that they supply with your uh, transfer booklet. And then you just, whoops, you just start rubbing. And you notice I accidentally pulled the sheet back, but look how quickly it has already started to release. I tell you, the quality of the IOD products are just amazing. So I want to make sure I give it a nice once over with a good amount of pressure. This box here really helps to stop your crop from rolling. <clears throat> what I like to do is I like to lift and rub at the same time. And that way, if you, you can see if one letter or one piece didn't stick, you just simply lay it back down and give it another rub. I'm gonna go this way. Like that little purse piece right of the crown, that a couple of the letters. Oop, the A. These are really little letters. <laughs> so anyway, if you are local, you definitely want to come check out the classroom. We already have so many classes scheduled. We are going to have charcoal drawing. We're going to have painting. We are going to have gift bags. We have all the gamuts. We're going to do macrame. We're going to do um, another IOD boot camp. So um, you can just learn a lot. And we hope to get those incorporated somehow to do virtual learning with the live um, class. Hold on, one little piece. There we go. Ta -da! Now look, see that's instantaneous. That is done. Like we could antique this a little bit more, but this is perfect. Look at that. It doesn't have to look old like this one, but look, it's just enough. So imagine this on the counter, and you can stick your pens, paper, or pens, pencils, scissors. You can put it on the kitchen counter, and you can put. Um, some you know cooking utensils in there but it's just gorgeous or you can obviously stick it up as a display with the scale and some greenery limitless um when i get finished with both of these i will stage them and i will show you what they're going to look like what they look like finished okay so now we're back to here the end game of this one is to look like this this one here this is the end game. This is where it's staying. I love it. It's perfect. We don't need to do any more to it. This one though, let's have some fun. <laughs> All right. So I want to use this thing here to prop this up. I just want to show you, look, let's zoom. No, we don't need to zoom in. You can just see the difference. Okay. Now what I need to do is I need to recreate all those cracks and see that shine. See the shine that's on this one. We're going to recreate all of that. So let's get started. The best way that I know how to do it is going to be with the Pentart Fine Line Crackle. It is a two part system. So we're going to put one on, let it dry, and then you put the second part on, part two, and you let it dry overnight. And then we add the, the fine things into there. Um, but you know, the problem is is that this isn't really fine line, these cracks that I'm looking at it now that I'm really looking at it. This is more of a classic crackle, but the classic crackle, if we did that, it doesn't really give you that shiny porcelain, but I guess we can always um, put a shiny thing over it. I think I need to use that other crackle. 
because the classic crackle, I have that hair right here handy. The classic crackle is going to give me all, see these, the little teeny cracks? Maybe the bottom would be better. Um, the fine line is going to be a little bit different than that. Ah. Well, let's just start. Both of them do use the exact same medium, the base part, part one. So we're going to go ahead and stick that on. Which is nice that they both use the same. Um, let me get that off. It's sticking. The same component one. There's my garbage. There it is. So it's nice if you if I decide to change my mind, you can you can you just need to. Uh, hey, Michaela. Yeah, look. So I'm recreating this. This is a true antique. I bought it at an antique show here in town. This one was with a transfer. Just quick and easy. But this one, we're going with a couple of colors of paint. We stamped it on with a crockery stamp. And then we're going to either use the fine line or the classic crackle. I don't know. Looking at this, Michaela, you know what the fine line and the um, classic look like. To me, it looks more like the classic. I think that's what we're going to do. So anyway, both of them do use the same component one for the beginning, so it's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this on. And um, just for the heck of it, I'm just going to double check to make sure that this ink is dry. It is permanent, but I just want to go ahead and just make sure before I slop on some of the component one. Yeah. Works for me. All right, let me get my little. Yes, I knew it. Thank you for your expertise. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and. Now, when you're using both of these crackles, either the fine line or the plastic, you always want to start off with a clean, dry brush. Obviously, you clean is very, you know, it's just common sense, but you want it to be a dry brush. You don't want the brush to be wet. And because we are on the live video, we're not going to, uh, I'm not going to do the backside. I'll do that off camera and I could do that later. I just rather focus on the front so you can see it. So what happens now is this needs to sit on here. Um, this will need to dry. And that'll take about an hour or two. Though, there is a heat advisory here in Florida. I could put it outside right now and probably dry in 30 seconds. But we're not going to rush the process. After this dries, I'm going to apply the... Um, it's right... Where is it? Uh, one of the, the, the classic crackle. That'll sit overnight, and then tomorrow we're going to go ahead and make the find those classic crackle lines look like this. No, I'm not going to ship out any of the. <laughs> I'm going to leave it the way it is, but it's going to look really cute, really cool, and it's going to be very similar to the true antique. Okay, so anyway, um, <laughs> what kind of gun is that? Love the size. Oh, I love it too. I got it on Amazon. It's a Seacone. I love this one because it's just small. Yeah, that's hot. And you're you're a little bit north of me, so. Ugh. Anyway, um, oh, I get to see Michaela. We're going to Atlanta to go visit the queen. <laughs> Decolletage queen, Miss Teresa Renee Art. Um, and we're going to have a ball. We're going to learn so much. We're going to come back with so much information. But that's the weekend after my grand opening. So, um, again, I'm still looking for that perfect classroom name. So if you have one, make sure you post it on Pick and Boots Vintage page. And I will see that. And we're going to do one more vote. And then we're going to go ahead and select it because we need to get it named. I, we just finished the floor today. We're going to finish it. We're going to paint the tables and the chairs. It's coming along. Fantastic. Can't wait to stock the new paint. Um, anyway, one last shot of the stuff we did today. And then I'm going to let y'all go. Oh, here, TikTok, look. This is just transfer. And then this is the one with the stamp and the colors and the layers that we just put on. But there's still more. I'll go to pop 
I'm going to come back on tomorrow and finish it up. It won't take long at all. All right. Thank you for joining me and I will see you tomorrow. I'm not sure of the time because I got a lot going on, but I will